A virus is a small infectious agent that replicates only inside the living cells of other organisms. A computer virus is a program or piece of code that is loaded onto your computer without your knowledge and runs against your wishes. All computer viruses are man-made. A computer virus is designed to spread from host to host and has the ability to replicate itself. In the same way viruses cannot reproduce without a host cell, computer viruses cannot reproduce and spread without programming such file. In more technical terms, a computer virus is a type of malicious code or program written to alter the way a computer operates and that is designed to spread from one computer to another. A virus operates by inserting or attaching itself to a genuine program or document that supports macros in order to execute its code. In the process, a virus has the potential to cause unexpected or damaging effects, such as harming the system software by corrupting or destroying data. Viruses are so dangerous and malicious that they can be automatically copied and pasted from memory to memory over and over. The transmitting power is so quick from network to network that it can hang a smoothly running computer. Sometimes it damages the important programs of the computer. Viruses are very dangerous programs that can go on their activities automatically and can do a great loss of the users. Virus attaches itself to files stored on USBs, email attachments and hard disks. A file containing a virus is called infected file. If this file is copied to a computer, virus is also copied to that computer. A virus normally runs all the time in the computer. Different viruses are activated in different ways. You need to know about the viruses as they are the enemies of your computer. The clear knowledge of the enemies will protect you from upcoming harm committed by the enemies. Types of Viruses It is impossible to give complete information about the types of viruses. The types of viruses are changing day by day. On the basis of their origin, hiding, damaging types, operating system etc., virus types are as follows. Boot Sector Virus Boot sector virus infects the boot sector on hard disks and other bootable media like DVD or CD. From a user perspective, boot sector viruses are some of the most dangerous viruses because they infect the master boot record. They are difficult to remove, often requiring a full system format. This is especially true if the virus has encrypted the boot sector or excessively damaged the code. Examples of boot sector viruses are Form, Michelangelo and Stoned. Macrovirus A macrovirus is an original individual amongst the types of computer virus and contaminates the macros inside a pattern. As soon as you realize a spreadsheet or word processing text, the macrovirus gets into typical pattern. Examples of macroviruses are Relax, Babbles and Melissa. File Infector Virus File Infector Virus infects program files such as applications, games or utilities. There are two types of file infector viruses. A direct action virus is one of the two main types of file infector viruses. The virus is considered non-resident as it does not install itself or remain hidden in your computer's memory. It works by attaching itself to a particular type of file, typically exe or com files. When someone executes this file, it is activated, looking for other similar files in the directory for it to spread. The example of a direct action virus is Vienna. Resident viruses are the other primary type of file infectors. Unlike direct action viruses, they install themselves on a computer. It allows them to work even when the original source of the infection has been eradicated. 
these are more dangerous than direct action viruses. Depending on the programming of the virus, they can be tricky to find and remove. Example of resident viruses are CMJ, MEV, Randix, Merklunky. Companion viruses Companion viruses are same as direct action types or resident types. They are companion viruses because sometimes they get into the method and accompany the other existing files. The examples of a company viruses are Asimov 1539, T-Rex 1069. Multipartite virus A multipartite virus may spread in multiple ways and it may take different actions on an infected computer depending on variables such as the operating system installed or the existence of certain files. They can simultaneously infect both the boot sector and executable files, allowing them to act quickly and spread rapidly. The two-sided attack makes them tough to remove. Even if you clean a machine's program files, if the virus remains in the boot sector, it will immediately reproduce once you turn on the computer again. Multipartite viruses include FLIP, Invader, Tequila. Polymorphic virus Polymorphic viruses are one of the most difficult to detect for an antivirus program. Antivirus software can only blacklist one variant of a virus, but a polymorphic virus changes its signature or binary pattern every time it replicates. It looks like an entirely different piece of software to an antivirus program and therefore can escape the blacklist. Polymorphic viruses include Marburg, Toreg, Satanbug, Elkern. Overwrite virus. An overwrite virus is one of the most annoying to the user, though it is not particularly dangerous for your computer. It deletes the contents of any file which it infects. The only way to remove the virus is to delete the file and as a result lose its contents. It can infect both standalone files and entire pieces of software. Overwrite viruses are spread via email. It is difficult to identify this for a common PC user. They were at the peak of success in the early 2000s with Windows 2000 and Windows NT, but you can still find them. Space Filler Virus The space filler viruses are more intelligent than most of the viruses. A typical mode of operation for a virus is to simply attach itself to a file. But space fillers try to get into the empty space which can sometimes be found within the file itself. They are also known as cavity viruses. This method allows it to infect a program without damaging the code or increasing its size. Thus, anti-detection techniques bypass it usually. Fortunately, this type of virus is comparatively rare, but the increase of Windows portable executable files is giving way to them. Fat viruses. These hardy viruses attack the file allocation table or FAT, which is the part of the disk used to store information about the available space, location of files, unusable space, etc. Virus, worm and Trojan horse. People generally make a mistake to refer to a worm or Trojan horse as a virus. Viruses, worms and Trojan horses are all malicious programs that can cause damage to your computer. But there are differences among the three. A computer virus attaches itself to a program or file and spreads itself from one computer to another, leaving infections as it travels. Some viruses may have annoying effects only, while others can damage your hardware, software or files. Almost all viruses are attached to an executable file, which means the virus may exist on your computer, but it cannot infect your computer without a human action, such as running an infected program. Because a virus is spread by human action, people will unknowingly continue the spread of a computer virus by sharing infected files or sending emails with viruses as attachments in the email. 
A worm is similar to a virus by design and is considered to be a subclass of a virus. Worms spread from computer to computer, but unlike a virus, it has the capability to travel without any human action. A worm takes advantage of file or information transport features on your system. That is what allows it to travel unaided. The end result in most of the cases is that the worm consumes too much system memory or network bandwidth causing web servers, network servers and individual computers to stop responding. The worm has been designed to tunnel into your system and allow malicious users to control your computer remotely. A Trojan horse is full of as much fraud as the mythological Trojan horse. At first glance, it will appear to be useful software but will actually damage once installed or run on your computer. Some Trojans are designed to be more annoying than malicious, like changing your desktop, adding silly active desktop icons in the same time any of them may cause serious damage by deleting files and destroying information on your system. Trojans are also known to create a backdoor on your computer that gives malicious users access to your system possibly allowing confidential or personal information to be compromised. Unlike viruses and worms, Trojans do not reproduce by infecting other files, nor do they self-replicate.